Robert, thank you so much for being here with me. I appreciate it. So talk to me about your founding story. I want to hear the whole history of Bear Bottom. Okay, yeah, it's a long story. So we started about 10 years ago when I was in high school. I had the idea. Wow. Um, I had the opportunity to go overseas with my father, who's been in the apparel industry you know, my whole life. And I saw like production and huge factories producing for like some of the world's largest brands yeah. and just got that exposure. Then I came home uh, to Florida in the middle of winter. I needed some shorts because it doesn't get cold there. And I couldn't find shorts that like suited what I was looking for and mm -hmm. at a good price point. Um, and that's when I talked to my dad. I said, you know, what does it cost to produce these? You know, what's that look like? Got some more information. And I said, how hard could it be to sell shorts online, right? Yeah. Um, so that was my idea. And then he said, yeah, go ahead and try it, not thinking I was serious. And about a year later, um, I went, I interned in Hong Kong and like learned about production and sourcing product development. I was at the University of Florida at the time mm -hmm. uh, after that internship. and then. Built the website, got our first shipment of 10,000 pieces, and started selling shorts online from then. And then uh, when we founded the company, we had the mission of donating a pair of shorts for every one we sold. Um, just thinking back to, like, to my trip to Bangladesh in particular, um, and just seeing you know, that country and how much the people you know, could use some support. Yeah. And that was like our founding mission, and since then we've shifted a little bit, but that's kind of the five minute you know, quick version of our story. That is a great mission. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. So talk to me about the types of clothes you, you sure. produce and who exactly is your target market? Definitely. Um, so we produce only menswear right now. Uh, it's super comfortable, like daily clothing that you wear. You know, we always like to produce stuff for our team. Mm. So anytime we're going somewhere and not wearing our product, we design something for that. So we have active, we have like casual basics, um, like shirts like this, things that are a little more dressy, you could wear out to dinner, that sort of thing. Um, a lot of our customers are they're throughout the country, you know, we just sell through our website. So Florida, New York, California, Texas, really everywhere. Um, and people who like to get outdoors, who are, you know, passionate about what they do. So we like to say everyday adventure is what we design for. Mm -hmm. So whether you're into music, hiking, um, business, really whatever it is, like our product is made for you. Very cool. Now, is it in any stores or is it no, only so online? No, so we just sell through our website. Okay. How has that process been like for you and do you, is the goal to eventually yeah. get into... Uh, that's been pretty okay. intentional. Um, it's good. It keeps us like super focused on what we're doing mm -hmm. and instead of like spreading ourselves too thin and like going through all these different channels. Obviously, we know there's a lot of opportunity in like wholesale and like retail now more so than ever, I think, for e-commerce brands. Mm -hmm. um, it's becoming a bigger opportunity, I guess, where you can really get your brand out there. Mm -hmm. But we like, we're designed for e-commerce like that that's our process right now and uh, we think we can continue growing that way for a while you don't hear too many people say that they started their company in high school <laughs> what make you think that what made you think that you could actually take that dive into entrepreneurship so young uh, I think part of it was I, I was young you know yeah. I was naive I just kind of thought how like I said how hard could it be to sell shorts online I was very naive <laughs> uh, but that's kind of just you know I started it really when I was in college and I think that was a real opportunity for me because I didn't yeah. have too much pressure you know I didn't I wasn't an adult I wasn't looking for jobs I wasn't like doing this as a side gig you know I was going to class obviously right. and like having my friendship and social life but outside of that I was like all right let me figure out how to sell shorts online right. so it was pretty much like just that basic there's so many you know menswear brands out there to, there today both in you know just the e-commerce and the startup scene like you but also incumbents that have been around for years how are you working to to stand out and make people choose bare bottom over any others definitely yeah we try to provide a lot of value to our customers mm. in both like product quality like we are designing for ourselves so yeah. that helps a lot like we have a ton of passion into product that's like my passion mm. is like production and product so we have a huge focus on that and then customer experience um, every single re product review we read, our whole team reads, our customer service team responds to. Any review that's not a five-star review, I get emailed to me, our COO gets emailed to me. We share those reviews and feedback with our factory, so we really do care a lot, and like, that's, again, what it comes down to. Everyone on our team is super passionate about our product and making sure our customers you know, get the same experience that we want to have as a customer with any other type of brand. Interesting. Now, you're totally bootstrapped, which I think Correct. is really incredible. Have you thought about taking on any outside investments, or do you want to in the future? Yeah. Uh, we've looked into it briefly, but you know we like how we can operate the team without having like outside influences. Mm -hmm. We have some good mentors um, that we're able to bounce ideas off of and network within other brands who are in the same space, which is really cool. Um, yeah. We like to have you know people who are really competitors of ours. They're willing to share, and we're willing to share with them. So I like that relationship, but 
right now we don't really plan on raising any funds or anything like that. Gotcha. And talk to me about your sales growth over the past few years. Yeah, so COVID um, was really where we saw a huge spike. We've grown consistently since I started the business, but after COVID, um, we really like skyrocketed. The first couple of weeks were really rough, yeah. um, and then just was like a really steady increase from there. Um, and we've been growing ever since. That's really cool. Can you share any of your revenue metrics or any other? Yeah, metrics? so this year we're expecting about $25 million in revenue. Wow, so that's amazing. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. What has been the most challenging part of running your company? Um, there's a lot of challenges, I think, between you know production issues and finding new customers and how to be with customers and you know solving those types of things. I think it's just there's a different challenge every day, honestly. So mm -hmm. I don't know if there's been like one that stands out necessarily. That's fair. Is there any world in which you would consider selling your company, and what would it take for you to yeah. do that? Uh, I have no vision of doing that right now. I, you know, I love the team we've built, and part of our company, like how we like to operate. Obviously, one, we want to grow our business, but mm -hmm. with that, we want to grow the people on our team. So, you know, personal growth, growing their skills. Obviously, you know, we want them to continue to improve in the partners we work with. So, the factories we work with, we don't go and place one order. These are true partners. They come to our family events. Like they come visit us all the time. I go there, yeah. um, so it's a true relationship. So I'll, we all want to grow together, and that's our mission. We're not really looking for you know five years. We're seeing how do we keep build this to be like a monster business in 50, 50 years yeah. from now. Very cool. I want to touch on um, your marketing and your okay. strategy for acquiring new customers. Is social media a large driver of that? And talk to me about which route you decided to go yeah. and why. So social media is huge. Mm -hmm. um, that's our core business like growth vessel uh, vehicle so we grow through social media paid social organic social those are really big channels for us is there any advice that you wish you knew on day one of founding your company that you'd give yourself now yes definitely um, on day one it would probably have been forecast your ordering better uh, my first order I did not do a good job and I had as many yellow and pink shorts as I did navy and black which is a strategic mistake um, but that was a small mistake. I would say like the biggest lesson I wish I knew then is how important it is to have a strong team around you. Mm. Um, so, like once we started adding like really good numbers to our team is when our business really started to grow a lot and see the success we see now. What's your best selling item? Speaking of yeah, all those different types definitely. of shorts. Uh, actually the first product we started selling, which was our stretch shorts now mm. is it's a later version. It's had a lot of improvements. Basically every single thing about it is new, yeah. but that's our, still our best selling item. As someone who does not often buy men's yeah. clothes, what, what's different about it or exciting? Yeah. Um, so they're super comfortable. They have an elastic waistband, which is not very common in men's clothing, but mm -hmm. they're cotton spandex fabric, so they have some stretch to them. They're super uh, soft, garment-tied. We offer different inseams. They're pretty short uh, compared to most shorts, so I think that's like a big differentiator for nice. them. Is there one uh, piece of business advice or a business rule that you always follow no matter what? a good question I think the main thing is just like being authentic and treating people how you want to be treated like yeah. that's how we work with our partners like I said and I think that's pretty important All right, well, now I want to talk about the future okay. what is coming up for you what exciting things are in the pipeline yeah, and in uh, 24 that you could maybe share with us perfect yeah uh, we have a ton of product development going on this year we launched a lot of new products outside of our typical categories so we had some like different matching sets mm. uh, a lot more performance fabrics and things like that we have a treatment called Hexaro, which is like a graphene fabric treatment, and it gives over seven properties like UPF protection, antimicrobial, uh, quick drying, all different features. So we have a lot of technical fabrics coming up, which I'm really excited about. And like I said, like new styles a little bit outside of what we typically have been That's offering. Cool. Do you ever want to get into women's clothing in the future? Or? Yeah, we get that question a lot, um, <laughs> especially from the, like the members of our team that are female. Yep. They do wear a lot of our products, though. A lot of it is unisex. so. The, we get a lot of reviews from women buying our product, talking about how they love the fit, how they love the pockets. Um, yeah. So there is, you know, we do have some crossover with that. But right now we don't have plans for women's, but not saying it's not possible in we'll the future. See. Yeah. <laughs> um, and one final question for you, Robert. What would you like your legacy to be? Uh, that's cool. I think uh, main thing for my legacy would probably be like that we helped a lot of people along the way, whether we helped them grow, our production partners, and uh, you know, for every item we sell, Right now we donate a meal to a child in need, so we're going to soon surpass one million meals donated. Wow. So I think as long as you know people can remember us for doing something like that, I think that'll be really awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you thank so you. much for being here. I appreciate it. Thanks for the time.